Hey, now it's Sunday. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day for you folks that are that are in celebrating it. Um, I'm single, uh, kind of um, dedicatedly single. Um, I need to drink some coffee and think about what to say about that. <laughs> definitely one of those people who does better by himself. I've tried to be a coupler, but people mention records, and um, sometimes I just feel like I just, just want to, you know, I know about these things. This is an original. Roberto Cacciapaglia, Say Note in Logica. I've had this for a long time. But the one that I really like by him is this one, Sonans. And again, I've had this forever. Really cosmic. Really like that a lot. Another one that was mentioned that I have, there were some mentions that I don't have, but I know about this stuff. I don't know everything, but I'm not a know-it-all, but um, I do have, um, I do know, I do know something. Luciano Tilio, this is really hard to find. So I, uh, I've made a copy. I'm interested in being interested. Third Air Band was mentioned. I've had more of their records, and, and I had Macbeth and sold it like a dummy. Not a dummy, but you know, life goes through changes. Watching documentaries. Last night uh, I watched uh, um, one on Bernie Worrell, and I have to agree with what they said about him. It's like he is a, a, a monster keyboardist who will likely, he's gone now, but he may not ever receive proper recognition for how much he influentially, how good he was, how influentially he was. And just how amazing it was. I bought this rec solo record of his, and when I first played it, I didn't, I couldn't understand it. And after watching that uh, documentary last night, this is first on the turntable today. I think I'll understand what where it's coming from a lot more. I want to keep it real short today, folks, um, because I could easily just go into a whole lot of ranting about stuff of what happened yesterday and. With the, with uh, the government here in America, I, you know, very disappointing. I knew it was going to happen. You know, it's just things just stay the same. You know, hope for a bright future where people will be um, held accountable and that people will be treated de de decently. It's just a pipe dream. Just a pipe dream. And um, regarding Valentine's Day. Um, I, I think that I'm um, I'm not romantic, and yet I am. Um, one of the, one of the reasons why I'm single is when I discovered that one of the big things that women now just say what you got to say, but this is my experience. So my experience with the opposite sex has been that one of the main things that a woman woman wants you to do is to think about her and show her that you're thinking about her. And once I, once I understood that with a few girlfriends that I've had and some of, that really, some of them I've really loved, really, and strongly attracted to, it's like, that's not how I operate. I've got my own agenda and I'm not replacing mine with yours. And I'm not interested in blending them together. I know that a lot of, that's when it really works. I'm not envious, I'm really not, but I see it. I see where couples who work well together, you know, love is, is thorny, it is, but people who find each other and make it work together, that's amazing. But I, I still don't really want that personally. I didn't want you to leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> okay, folks, have a good day. <laughs>